The stages of the battle, when you read the text, you will see that it takes first place just around where Johor Lama is, a bit upstream from Tekong. And then it moves out towards just across from Changi, and then the ships are heading out toward Pedro Branca. And in the third phase, they're off the northern coast of Bata. How many ships are at stake? On the Dutch side, there are three. Three vessels from the Dutch Blue Water Fleet. So the, the Portuguese side has two carracks or galleons where Portuguese, who were here for already a hundred years, had adapted themselves to local types of warfare. This maneuver, we're told in the Dutch source, cost a lot of lives on the big Portuguese vessels as they were dashing out uh, toward the sea. The second tactic that the Dutch do is they focus on the flagship because that's the one you want to take out. You want to take out your he the heavy artillery. The Johor Armada is sitting there on the side. They do not want to get involved whatsoever. They're sitting there and they're watching the other two slug it out with each other. And where the Raja of Johor uh, heads with his personal galley toward the main ship of Vice Admiral Peters to congratulate him on the victory in battle. To ask as well, why on earth is this battling uh, happening at all? The second question we need to ask is why here? Why at this particular location? This cargo from the Santa Catarina was so valuable, it was worth three million guilders at the time. That was about half the paid-in capital of the Dutch East India Company at that point in time. And pulled a chapter out and called it the freedom of the seas, the freedom of navigation. It's a classic of international law today. And did anybody really win? That's, that's probably a much better question. The answer is, what does this episode tell us about Singapore? That's really an important question now. Huh? 1610, they're still discussing Singapore as a possible location for the VOC Asian headquarters, Dutch East India Company. Is this worthy of remembering in the history books? I would say yes. It is part of a much larger geostrategic deliberation that is being made by the early European colonial powers.